What's up guys and thanks for tuning in to another video. I'm Luke from Tackle West. We've got Honsu here from Tackle West. And today we want to give you a look at the all new Penn Authority Reel. So this is a new reel from Penn. It's their flagship reel. It's above a slammer. Um, it's got a couple more improvements over the slammer and it looks like it's going to be a real rip ripper. So let's get stuck straight into this. Now they come with a pretty killer looking little box. If you can get it open. Ugh. They come with a nice pouch and the reel itself comes packed in all the foam. So the reel's packaged really well so when you if you're ordering these things online you don't have to worry about them being damaged when they arrive. The reel is packed really well in the box um, and it's really secure and looked after. So that's a good bonus especially if you're ordering the reel or the product online. So if you're looking at this new reel and you're wondering what's better about it, well Honsu's gonna tell you. So, what makes this reel better than the previous slammer or the, the you know the reels below below this? Well, given that this is a flagship reel, they've made they've made improvements on the cutting of the gears, so they're still CNC the um, cut, but they're cut to a lower tolerance stainless steel gear as well as a pinion. So both stainless steel um, both main gear and pinion are stainless steel now and cut to a much lower tolerance. So hence when you want it, it actually feels a lot smoother than the old slammer. This is one thing that I've noticed when I've wound this uh, reel is just how smooth it is compared to a slammer. Um, I know pen reels generally, they're not as uh, silky smooth as like a Daiwa. Um, you know, that they are a bit more rugged, but this is one thing that I noticed when picking up this authority and, and actually winding the reel. It's significantly smoother than a, than a slammer. There's not that inertia to get the reel going. It's just smooth. Um, I mean, it still feels a little bit industrial, but you know, you've got a very solid reel here that's going to last a long time. It's going to take a lot of punishment. Um, for, for, for how smooth it is, I think it's, it, it's pretty good. So you can put up with that little bit of ruggedness. Now, one of the biggest things that I like about what they've done with this reel is just the improvement to the handle. So, you know, it just feels a lot nicer than the, the slammer. Um, it just feels more comfortable to hold. Um, I don't know, is it a little bit lighter? Do you think the handle's a little bit lighter? I don't know. It's, it's a little bit rounder, round, a bit fatter. So yeah. it's a bit nicer to hold on to. Well, this is the big, big boy. This is the, um, the 10 500. You'll definitely notice that the drag is a lot smoother on this as well. They've definitely improved it. It's it's way smoother than the slammer. Um, comparing the two reels, it, it, there's a significant difference in this reel's drag just from feeling it on the shelf. Yeah, if they've made improvement to the, the ever reliable dual drag system, so now it's got a lower startup inertia sort of drag, so therefore it doesn't stick as much as it used to. Yeah, like yeah. F feeling this this slammer here, um, it's definitely. This, this new one, is, it's way smoother. Definitely doesn't have that inertia. It's just silky, silky smooth drag. What other improvements have they done? Uh, but another improvement they've made is to the, the spool oscillation. So in other words, they've slowed it right down. So therefore your line length's a lot more even. So therefore you get you get more line capacity as well as um, be able to cast further with the line length being more even. You can definitely see they've slowed it right down. That camera's gonna focus for you. You look at that, that oscillation's slowed right down compared to the, the slammer. Oh, where are we? Yeah, look at that, look at the difference of it. The slammer is oscillating heaps quicker than this, so your line's not gonna be laying anywhere near as, as level as it is on the new authority. So one thing that is really good about these reels and it's good for guys that are fishing in Australia because we have so many big fish is just how much line every single model holds. So whether you're buying a 2500 or you're buying the big boy, the 10500, they hold an absolute stack of line. So for guys that are drone fishing or anything like that, I mean you'll fit I mean, how much, how much does this thing hold? This would have oh, to hold... I'm pretty sure it holds at least 800 meters. You know, so every single model in the range holds a stack. Um, you can fish heavier lines and, and not really have to worry about whether you're gonna fit 300 meters on the reel or not, because pretty much whatever, you, whatever you're gonna put on there is you're generally gonna hold a, a fair amount of it. I guess just like finishing up 
the overall finish of the reel is is I mean like the, I wouldn't say it's significantly better than a slammer um, what do you reckon? They've, they've gone away from the traditional black and gold series which is basically the old dating back from the old spin fisher to give it something a bit more class with a bit of a chrome sort of gunmetal sort of finish so that way it it looks the part when you're buying a top end reel yeah it, it, it definitely does look a little bit better than a slammer um, I mean time's gonna tell how this reel actually goes but you know I think they're I think they're fitting into a market where you know pen hasn't really been in before. Um, I, I think you know these reels are all. What, what's the price of them? Uh, they go from about six hundred and eighty dollars to eight hundred dollars. I, I think they're they're going to fit into the market reasonably well. And I think if you're somebody that just wants a reel that kind of a no bullshit reel that you can absolutely hammer. You don't. I mean, I'm not going to say not look after them, but you know, treat them a little bit rough. I think this reel is going to be really good for you. If you don't mind the industrial type of feel to it, um, but you know, you just want to go fishing and you just want to absolutely hammer your gear, then I, I think this authority is definitely going to be, be a good option. And being so much smoother than the, than the um, slammer, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be more enjoyable to use. That's one thing with the slammer. I know some guys, they're a little bit, it's, it's a little bit, a little bit clunky to use um, so yeah that's the new authority guys so you can check these out in store we've got them at both of our stores or you can go on to our website I'm gonna link them below in the description of this video check them out let me know what you think if you've already used one I'd like to know what you what you think about it um, yeah get yourself a pen authority tackerwest.com.au